huge news this morning, and that was concerning Chelsea. Um, we now know Sir Lewis Hamilton and Serena Williams, two of the world's biggest sports stars, of course, are committing millions of pounds to one of the bids vying to become the new owners. Uh, for more on this, we can speak live to Sky News' city editor, uh, Mark Kleinman. What do we know about this? Of course, you broke this news on Sky News just, just uh, a short time ago. Yeah, that's right, Hayley. What we know about this involvement of Sir Lewis Hamilton and Serena Williams in one of the bids, uh, the three remaining shortlisted bids for Chelsea Football Club, is that they are going to invest about £10 million each of their own money in the consortium that's being spearheaded by Sir Martin Broughton, the former Liverpool FC and British Airways uh, chairman. Now, as I understand it, uh, Sir Lewis and Serena Williams have been involved in talks with this consortium uh, for quite some time, although, of course, we're only reporting it uh, this morning. And one of the things that has apparently persuaded the two uh, sports stars to back Sir Martin's bid is its focus on diversity uh, in all its forms at Chelsea. Uh, Sir Lewis, as I understand it, has agreed uh, to be involved in future uh, diversity and anti-discrimination campaigns at Chelsea if this consortium uh, is successful. I mean, it's notable, of course, that Sir Lewis himself is a lifelong um, Arsenal fan, so it's not entirely clear how his involvement in this bid will be uh, received by uh, Chelsea supporters. Um, but it is interesting that, of course, during this very truncated auction process as a result uh, that was triggered as a result of Roman Abramovich's sanctioning by the British government, uh, that there has been a lot of focus on um, diversity-related issues. That was thrown into sharp focus by uh, one of the earlier bidders, uh, a consortium that was led by the Chicago Cubs owning Ricketts family and uh, Islamophobic comments that, that one of their family members had made uh, many years ago. Uh, that had thrown a, a very sharp focus on issues uh, such as uh, racial uh, diversity. So it's interesting uh, that these two names have appeared in the consortium. Not clear, Hayley, whether their involvement in this bid will uh, be a swing factor in the decision about which of these three remaining bidders is going to buy Chelsea. But what I would say is that we're not going to have long to wait to find out because, as I understand it, a preferred bidder is likely to be recommended to the UK government, which has to sign off on, on the deal um, in the next uh, week or so. Certainly, we would expect that to happen by the end of April. Shall I wait that announcement? Mark, thank you very much indeed.